Street. So, me and the man were cruising through our posh, elitist neighborhood. He's a land poor inheritor, clinging to the status of having a manor house in this neighborhood. But we get out, we cruise around in his Ford Festiva, sometimes without even having, you know what I'm saying, the AC on. Sometimes with the windows rolled up, sometimes with the windows rolled down. What we're doing, we're cruising around just to continue it's the innation process, inundating ourselves to the neighborhood. So it always feels like a second skin to us because we come from, and we're very proud to come from an elitist, posh, ultra well police enforced. The very best, whatever you would say, uh, what do you call it with? You have the amenities like the fire or the uh, ambulance services, the garbage services, and the recycling are to die for, whatever. Anyways, what gets us feeling that we're such a vital, important part is just driving around, checking out what's going on. You might see a lemonade stand. You know, what we saw today was an old man, he's a retired doctor in one of the real big, posh, elitist manor houses, dwarfing the man's manor house. This big, proud man was standing there looking at his little white poodle's anus, wondering what kind of crap was coming out or if crap was going to stick to its butt. And we were in the slow part of town. We were driving extra slowly. We were kind of enjoying, you know what I'm saying, the aviance of the neighborhood. And so when we seen that, we, it was like you were in a zoo, like on a tram or whatever, going by some lions screwing in a pit. It was disgusting. This old boy was not taking his eyes off that crap situation. He was identifying if the dog was having a problem, getting the crap all the way out and off itself so it drops to the ground. Or is it pinching off and hanging off a true vicious sign of worms? You know, obviously the dog would have worms. And then that doctor, we got by, you could see in the rear view, like, is this doctor insane? Does he know he's standing there on the edge of his property? Does he know it's like people going by thinking this guy's a freak? This is like, hey, do I have to pay for this show? You know? Then he gets down a little bit lower and puts one of his hands on the ground and he starts monkeying around trying to take a, take a full on beautiful doctor esque examination of the droppings. We kind of had to put that in the rear view and leave it stay in the rear view. It kind of took the whole, it made it a little dingy, you know, the beautiful, posh, wonderful neighborhood. There's an old doctor out there in the neighborhood, you know, checking out <laughs> dog crap, you know what I'm saying? And whatever, it's all right. I mean, it just, it's not quite as elitist. It doesn't make Use you feel as haughty, to to so to speak. Street. You know what I'm saying? We were trying to bump ourselves up a little bit, au natural, just examining and being so grateful to live and you know get to tool around in this beautiful beautiful elitist posh neighborhood like we own it because in essence we do we do own it you know we're cash you know house poor cash starved inheritors but we own it it's all ours you know as long as we pay the taxes that is it's all ours